Yo guys, Sapman25 back again. We recently beat New Super Mario Bros. Wii and now we're playing 3D World. Uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I was supposed to play New Super Mario Bros. U and Luigi U and I have played them, but I don't want to upload them because I'm not really a big fan of those games. But I'm a big fan of this game and New Super Mario Bros. Wii and 64. So now we're going to be playing, we've already played New Super Mario Bros. Wii now I'm going to play 3D World and then Mario 64 and then we're done. Uh, I changed my plan. Those are the only three Mario games I'm filming. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, this game has green stars, yeah, uh, and stamps. The first green star in this level is right here. You've got to jump up to it like that. But in this game, there is about 12 worlds. About there's like 400 green stars and about 100 stamps. Now, obviously, for 100, you need all of them. You also need all the golden flags in one level, which is quite annoying, but it's not too difficult. Alright, off the checkpoint, this bunny right here has a second star in him. It's quite hard to catch, but be careful and you'll get him. Uh, go through this pipe down here, and it will lead you to the uh, stamp. There's, a, there's one stamp in every level, and there's three green stars in every level. So as I said, there'll be about 100 I don't know how much stamps there are, but there's a lot. And now you want to go up here, and then you need to go up here, and you can see this massive bunny. Bang. Uh, collect the... Mega Mushroom, whatever it's called off him. Yep, and then run. Uh, another cat suit there, I'll come back for that later. Because I won't, then just keep walking. Get into these grey blocks, break them all. And then, wait, let me break these blocks as well. I want to see what happens. Can I break all of these in time? I don't know, it might be a bit close. It's about to run out. Can I? Two. I missed two. Oh, and I can't break them either. Well. Hang on, I think there's something, wait, there's a hidden one up down here, right? Yeah, there is, I remember that. Alright, yeah, I'm going to get my um, cat belt back now. But anyway, for, this, for the third star, green star, uh, go down here. And then, look, third green star, right there. For you. As I said, every level has a golden flag, has a flag, we need to get top of the flagpole every time, which is called golden flagpole. So for the first one, I recommend all have a cat suit. First, for the first one, you can simply just jump straight to the top of the golden flagpole like that. Not too difficult, and then you do that and you will get golden flagpole easily. Or you can just use a cat suit, as I said. Right, now, 1-2 uh, is next. Right, there's um, nothing over here. Uh, one dash two actually has a secret exit. This game only has two secret exits. It has one in one dash two and it has one in four dash two. I believe it's the same in Mario 3D Land. Although I haven't played that in a long time, but I did 100% it, so I'm proud of myself. Uh, you can also get 100 lives in this level, but I'm not going to do that yet. I might do it uh, later. I don't know, but I will never know. Oh yeah, hidden one up right here, by the way. Yeah, so for the secret exit, you need to keep a cat suit, by the way. Uh, once you go through this pipe, first star is right here in these clouds. Simple. Alright, and then I'm going to go up here as well because there's a secret up here. Uh, let me sh uh, Right, so. Uh, I fell down, never mind. Well, if you didn't go through the top like me, you can you can just climb up to it, it like this. Because you need to go through this pipe. Go down this golden pipe. And there's just basically a lot of coins here, so. Wait, I'm gonna try and. Oh, well, I messed it up. But you, you can get a lot of coins on that, by the way. That's what I was showing you. Alright, now we're going to go back through this clear pipe, I believe it's called. Alright, and these purple boxes here, these contain uh, green stars. So if you see one, go inside of it. For this one, you just need to kill all the enemies inside here. Obviously, there's two Coopers, you need to kill both of them, and then you'll get your green star. Right, and now this will take us to the first arc. All right. Oh yeah. So wait. So you need to go up here and then go through this pipe here, and it leads to the uh, stamp in this level. So there's a stamp in every level. So look up. Oh well. If you wanted to get up by cats, you have to go that way. Right, uh, the, the, the secret exit's up there, but I'm not going to go there yet. Alright, I'm going to get myself a couple lives good. Right, in here there's a star. It's quite hidden. Wait, no, collect it. Right, go. I'm going to kill this guy first. That is not what I meant to do. That's not the intended way, but 
Just kill all these people with the star and you'll get uh, a green star, your final green star. Alright, secret exit by the way, you need a cat suit. And simply just climb up this wall, go through this red pipe. And it takes you from 1-2 straight to wild 2. So you skip a whole world basically. That's how it's, it's very useful. Look, straight to world 2. How lucky is that? I also got my additional three green stars as well. Uh, oh yeah, and the stamp was a coin by the way, but like, who cares. Alright, I'm going to go back to uh, world 1 now. Alright, so now we're back here. Uh, I'm going to get myself a life again with this um, star. Look, here's another way to get the green star in case she was wondering. Right. So, basically... Never mind, I was going to say you can jump from a path, but it's too late now. Basically, just jump from above onto him, but that doesn't really matter. Okay, full of golden flagpole. To get the top of the flagpole, uh, you c this one, I guess you could just jump on it again. I've got low battery. Okay. Uh, it's safest to use a cat suit with either long jump to the top or just simply jump up there with a running jump, and you should be able to get the top of the flagpole uh, very easily. There's a mushroom house there. Oh, yeah, these, these, like, these are like mini bosses. So this game doesn't have any castles or anything. No, this game has a castle yet, but like it doesn't have a mini castle. It only has like one boss per world. So you have like these mini boss things that come up sometimes. All right, yes, good things come in small packages. I know I don't need any of them. I want to keep my cat suit, but you know, I reckon you always have a cat suit in reserve for the golden flag ball in case you need it. Most of them are quite easy. You don't need a cat suit, but you never know. You might need it. So. All right, world one dash a charging truck blockade. Okay. Yeah, and now come closer, come closer. Yeah, I'll let you come in two hits. And that gives you a star, by the way. There's one star in all these. Yeah, well done, Luigi. Alright, now we unlock World 1 that's free. Mount Beedenpole. Oh, yeah, this game adds a, like, level names to it, by the way, so that's nice. Alright, first star is actually right here to the left. It's very easy to hit. The one on the right doesn't have anything on it, but, you know. Right, here's a hidden one up. Right, for the um for the second star and the stamp, the stamp is to the to the right there, but the second star is uh, in this pipe here. Hit the power block and it'll show you where the pipe is. Right, hit this P switch here. It should hit right there we go. And then if you run fast enough, just make sure you get all the coins in time before the timer runs out. And then to climb up the wall here, bang, that's all the blue coins and you'll get the second star. Right, as soon as you exit the pipe, the stamp is actually right there, you can either just, I mean, just all jump up to it like that. Very easy. Oh yeah, some of these cat uh, enemies have like, actual cat suits in them, by the way, so sometimes when you kill them, they'll give you a nice free cat suit. Right, you need a cat suit for the third star, because you need to, like, use your cat claws on this thing. There's a cloud there, but before I go to that, I'm going to get this hidden one up up here. And then we'll head up here. We're going to get back on here safely. Go on this cloud, and it will shoot you up to here where there is a star. And there's also a lot of enemies, so just run on these uh, speed boost things. I don't know what they're called. Just keep running on them, and then at the end of there, there'll be a green star for you. Yes, how nice. Alright, jump off that guy and then this final boss here. Yep. Alright, for this golden flagpole, you will need the cat suit, even though I think that cat has a cat suit. We need a cat suit so you can climb up the pole and get to the top of the flagpole this time. You can't jump to it this time, remember that. Alright, one yes, we can either go to 1 4 or 1 5, but obviously 1 4 is the next level, so we're going to go to 1 4. You have to play this level twice, by the way, because uh, there's a part of the level where you can either go left or right. You go left, you get the second green star, you go right, you get the stamp. So, you have to play this level twice, in order to 100% it, obviously. By the way, I think you need, like, 200 green stars to beat the game in general, so you might you have to collect green stars. You can't just miss all of them, you have to collect them. Not all of them, obviously, but you have to collect at least some of them. Alright, first green star is coming up. You want to use this speed boost. And then jump up to the first green star like that. Right, there's a red coin ring here. Let me get myself a one up quickly. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight. Hang on, too good. Uh, I'm about to get another one up through here. This game is actually uh, a lot. This game doesn't give you as much one ups as Lucy Rabbit's Wii. Like in that game, I got I was in like last by like Football Three. Right, so here's what I was talking about. For this part, you can go left or right. I'm going to go left first because I mean it's easier. And there's the, the second green star. And then look, you can't go to the right to get the stamp. That's what I was talking about. Right, for the third green star, you just, uh, once you, you, if you get the second green star, I'll give you a uh, star power up. And then once you get to this part here, as soon as you hit the edge, jump. And then you'll be able to get the third green star, just like that. Right guys, I'm back here now to get the stamp. Right, so, to get the stamp, what you need to do is go to the right side, so the left. Carefully platform here. Go all the way there. Make us. I missed it. I will be back. Alright, anyway. For the stamp. So. I'm glad I got to retry because I got myself more lives. But anyway. You want to go slowly here, as I was saying. Go slowly. Because you can fall off the edge if you're not gentle like that and then just get a stamp like that and then just quickly move out the area and then you shall be fine. Right, for the top of the flagpole, basically there's a speed boost here, use it and then just jump and you should get top of the flagpole like that. Uh, just use the cat see if you want. Right, one does five, switch scramble circus, that is one of the worst names I've ever heard, but still. It's also a toad level there, toad levels give you five stars by the way, so that's nice one. Oh yeah, in this level you've got to activate all these switch things. And then once you do that, it will give the entrance will open for you. It's a bit weird, but you know, don't question it. And I'll hit this. Okay, cat suit. Already have one of those. By the way, you have, a, you have a backup one. If you can see in the bottom right, bottom left, there's my um, inventory, and I have a backup uh, cat suit there. So if I lose my cat suit, and I think I want another one, is like I said, always keep a cat suit in backup for the golden flag. Right, for the first star coin, do not go in there yet, you want to climb up the side to this hidden star up here. First star, and then go through the box. And it takes us straight to the checkpoint. And you have to activate all these things, so... Yeah, I guess that can be quite difficult, but... Just be careful. Kill these people while they're here, because, I mean, they can damage you, so I guess be careful. But once you get all of them, they'll turn green, and then the door will open for you. Right, there's a red coin ring here. I'm, I'm, these are easy. Oh yeah, in this game, I think if you get all like if you get all eight red coins, they don't give you a one up. They just give you an item. Fire flower. Who do you think I am? Some virgin. I've got a cat suit. Man. Right, go in this uh, purple block thing. Uh, which one was? Which one is it in? Right, top left is where the star is. What's in here? Fire flower. No thing. Right, immediately after that, go up here. And look, you'll see there's a star in the middle. So basically, how you get this is you need to like run when it's here, right? Yeah, jump at it like that. Just wait in the middle and jump to it. And once you've got all of them, you can go through the exit. Bang! You see that shot? That was world class. Right and then, actually. Don't activate all these, I would say, because you want to if you, you want to actually no, you can just wall jump to get the stamp. I think so. Don't worry. On top of flagpole, just do a long jump to get top of flagpole, I guess. All right. So next up, we've got Captain Toad, who gives us five stars, and we have the Bowser Pot. You see how there's a gate on it? I think that means you need a certain amount of stars. Uh, uh, I don't know how much stars it is, but we'll see. There's five stars in here, so if you need stars, get these are easy stars by the way, so. Right, these are basically guaranteed stars, right? Once you get in. Yeah, Captain Toad can't jump by the way. Right, so once you enter a level, run to the side and you'll see a green star Ligi right under here. It's the first one. Now I need to wait for this platform to come back. Right, for the second star, wait for the platform to come back, get on it and just walk to the second star like that. Right, for the third star, once you go here, go to the left side, and there's a star at the end of this hallway thing, wherever it is. Right, so I, I am playing a deluxe edition, by the way. And in the normal edition, you, you have to blow into the thing to get it. 
get the fourth star, but in this game you don't. And that's the fifth star as well. And uh, yeah, that was all of Captain Toad's treasure hunt thing. Right, now, see, look, we have 21 stars here, and there's a gate there, so... Obviously, I've been collecting all the stars, so... I've got 21 stars, but you need... You need 10 stars to get here, so you need to get... 10 stars, that's like... So every level has 3 stars. So get 5 from Captain Toad, and then just get another 5 from a different level, I guess. Ours is high by showdown, alright. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna skip this, I don't really care. Well, that was very useful, wasn't it? Oh yeah, Bowser's thing has footballs, by the way. I don't know why the game added footballs, but, you know. Or as the Americans are called. Oh, actually, I'm not going to say what they would call it. Right, these green coin rings, by the way. If you get all the green coins, bang, you get a green star. That is the first star. You need to use the green coins to get it. I do not care about my low battery game, okay? Wait, there's a hidden Luigi, I think, around here somewhere. No? no there's not? Okay, never mind, I was mistaken. Thought there was, but there wasn't. Right, so for the stamp, hit the ball into here, and it should give you the stamp. Ow, how dare you. Hang on, let me, luckily uh, there's a cat suit in one of these blocks, I think. Yeah, right. Give me that. Right, I want to climb on this um, thing quickly. Oh, I want, I want that time for some reason. Just give me it. Oh, I missed again. Right, come back down. Thank you for the time. And you can climb up here and get a, and get a second star like that. Right, the third star, use this football and aim it at... Okay, I missed them, but still. Or just use a cat suit and get the star like that. It's really up to you. And then next up, we'll move on to the uh, Bowser ball. Alright, so the first... The first boss is, I believe, Bowser, right? We fought Bowser in Mod 1 and Mod 8, so... Oh yeah, every world has a different boss, by the way, apart from Mod 1 and Mod 8. These are Bowser, but you know. Well, yeah, Bowser's got his... He's got a fresh car in this game, that's his fresh whip. Right, so... I'm right, he throws a football at you. Yeah, he does, and then you just hit it... ...into his face, like that. You do that three times, and he dies, I guess. No, but you have to hit him exactly in his face. You can't hit his car, you have to hit his face three times, and he dies. So, like, like that. Bang, that's, that's two hits. Look, his car, look, his favourite tyre has gone gold. I messed up his car. Got car insurance, Bowser? Because otherwise you can't afford that. Can you find another football, please, so I can kill you? Right, look, yeah, there we go. And in your face. Bang, that was three hits. That was very easy. Uh, what happens again? Oh, yeah, his, oh yeah your car is gone now, Bowser, mate. It's fair on the water. Wow, I mean, he's, he's not dead, because, like, obviously, it's World 1, why would he be dead? World 2 is a different boss, World 3 is a different boss, World 4 is different, World 5 is different, World 6 is different, and World 7 is different, and then World 8 is Bowser again. Right, yeah, so for the top of the flag off this one, uh, castles are probably the easiest ones. You just uh, jump onto the highest set, and then just do a long jump, or jump, wherever you want. And you should get a top of the flagpole like that.